Okay, we're filming. Remember to look at the camera. Suck in my gut. I'm going to do what is the traditional old fashioned percolator. Now, I talked about how when you normally do percolation, it kind of goes through once and drops down. This kind of works a little differently. You put the coffee in the basket right here, sits on top of there. The whole thing fits in there and the water actually percolates up, drops through the coffee, goes back down to the holding area, and then it just kind of repeats itself. So you do have a risk of having coffee get overexposed to the water and the heat and it can be a little strong. Ignore my cat, I'm going to. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put in, I don't know, I'm gonna guess on this. Let's do it this way. Let's set this in first. And let's put in, we're not gonna fill it up. I don't want to drop it down the tube because I want to keep it out of the bottom. So we'll leave it like we'll leave it like that. Put the lid back on, which will center it. Put this in like this. Close up the coffee. And we're going to just let that start to boil and go for a certain period of time. So this video is probably going to have a lot more editing than any other one I've done before, um, which will teach me how to edit. So we're going to give this some time and we'll go from there. So I'm also going to use my phone to take pictures from this viewpoint so we can see what happens. And then at some point water will start coming up over there, hit this dispersion tray, and the dispersion tray then will allow the water to go evenly over the grounds. And I actually remember when they didn't have a dispersion tray, so... And this little piece right here will fit on top and you'll see the percolation come up. So when that starts to happen, I will go ahead and start filming that. There's my cat over there on her chair and she's not in here. She was here earlier and you could hear her meow. Loki, what you doing little girl? All right, it's starting to percolate. And now it's just a question of letting it run for a while. I think we're gonna set a timer for nine minutes. I'm going to turn it down a little bit more. And this is a percolator. This is how they made coffee for about 20, 30 years in the United States. Maybe other parts of the world. I do have another percolator. This would be an Italian percolator. Works similar. Just under high pressure. Therefore, it makes a stronger cup of coffee. This makes... Uh, certain style of cup of coffee this makes a higher concentration cup of coffee it's stronger it's not espresso but it's probably as close as you can get to it using a percolator style system espressos are pressured under a lot of pressure and they extract all the flavor from it and you have to have very high quality grinders high quality press in order to get it to function correctly without all of the bad flavors coming through Okay, let's lower this a little bit more. It's only been going two minutes. We're gonna sit there and watch this. You can already see the colors going through there. All right, I turned down the percolation. I think that's about the right speed. The bubble's coming up roughly every two seconds. It won't cook it down too much. There is electric ones which would be superior to this style. On the other hand, this style is flexible to go anywhere, like a cabin, uh, 
camping on a fire over a propane uh, stove, over a gas stove, or any type of project. So as long as you have heat, you can make coffee this way. Then again, I could just boil the water and use the pour over that I used before. So I'm not going to say that this is a superior method. We'll see what it tastes like. I'm hoping I'm wrong, and I hope this tastes good, but I don't know what to expect. Once again, I've never modernly made coffee. So this is the fifth, fifth style or fourth style, I can't remember, it's getting confusing. Put that there. I'm gonna shut it off for a second, the video. Wait till we're closer to the end. Turned it up a little bit more, it was slowing down. <clears throat> and I'm a minute and a half away from calling it done. And we'll pull it off. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing as I've always done. Except I'm gonna do two cups this time. One cup will start off with um, just black. The other cup I think I'll do, and then from the black cup I'll go to two sugars, two sugars and cream. The second cup I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with the refrigerated French vanilla and see what that's like. So I'm getting close to here to call it done. I'm overlapping videos, <laughs> doing some with my phone and some with my camera, and we're getting really close to being done here. In fact, I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn the temperature off, let it naturally stop. It's been almost eight and a half minutes. We'll go just a half a minute on just residual heat. We'll see what that does, cool down a little bit. Still see it's percolating. This will be interesting. And of course, I may have gone too long. I may not have gone enough. So I definitely will have to experiment with how this works, just to try to perfect it. When you make coffee all the time, you got a little bit better. There's my timer. One thing that's cool is that this has on the handle here, see how it has a little hook going up? I don't know if we can see that. Let me put it back here, a little closer. That hook means it can be suspended off a tripod over a camping fire, and when it's suspended like that, it won't be sitting in the coals. So this truly is a camping percolator. And plus it helps you pour it. All right, I'm gonna stop it. And we're going to go ahead and move over to the other position to test it. All right, we're ready to go. My confidence in this is really low. In order to make sure it correctly, poured correctly, I did pull some out and see what it looked like. And there's a lot of coffee grounds in there. It is what it is right now. We're just going to try it. There may be a period of time you're supposed to wait. I didn't taste it. That's going to be on the camera. All right. You can tell it's hot. Okay. This has that smell that I remember as a kid that is very bitter acid smell. Um, they call, the coffee has either a sweet smell or an acid smell. And you kind of want to balance between the two. Some people favor a little bit towards the sweetness. Some people favor a little bit towards the acid. This definitely feels acid and bitter. Um, we're gonna let this cool down a little bit. I'm actually gonna shut off the camera for a moment because I'm gonna edit it out. Let it cool, I'm not gonna do anything to the coffee. Okay, so let's go ahead. This one we'll do first. 
is the one I'm going to end up putting sugar in and cream. Once again, I showed a video of the stuff. You can see things floating around on the top. It's oils from the coffee. Because it came in so much contact time with it. <laughs> it's hot. Yep, bitter. Let's do this one first, actually, because it'll cool it down. I suspect that's why cold cream and sugar was used. Made it palatable. All right. Even with the cold cream in there, now this is not real real cream. This is the non-creamer cream. This seems like a oxymoron, but this is non-dairy creamer. Yeah. All right, let's play more sugar. So far, now I know why I didn't like it. Two packages of sugar. And I think we're going to do two creams. I'm tempted to put another sugar in there. What is it, girl? Now, the thing is that this one was cold when it went in, and this is still hotter. Let's try this again. Still very hot. Yes, more sugar is better. Without a doubt. So we're going to add some sugar to this. If I keep adding sugar, I might as well just have a Coke. Isn't that right, Loki? So far, I have other ways to make coffee out camping I think I would prefer to do. More sugar helps. Okay, that's, that's okay. I could drink that. I need caffeine. I could definitely do that. Um, the vanilla tastes good, but um, this is definitely my least favorite. With the cream and the sugar in there, it's palatable. I could drink that. I could drink it out in the woods for sure. It's still hot. There is... Definitely some um, items that have grounds that have gone through. You see the grounds floating on there? Loki. All right. We're going to go and let my cat outside. She's having a fit.
Let's go. Come on. Come on. Don't go too far away. Don't play with strange animals. I don't want any snakes up here. Stay away from coyotes. Remember to climb a tree if you have gum in a problem. Okay. I'm going to leave that open so the cat can push on it and come in if she needs to. So you can see grounds in here. You can see sediment. It's not as bad as the French press. That one had a lot of grounds. If you look up here, you can see the bottom and the brown stuff on the bottom. Definitely has a little more bitter taste, but it's not horrible. I could come to get used to that. I kind of like the real cream better. And I would say with this stuff, it's three sugar packets. So that's pushing that up to 15 grams of sugar. Starting to get into a half a Coke. But I guess this can all be stored room temperature and a Coke you need cold. So if you're out camping, this may be the only option. Anyway, that's a percolator pot, the old style. We'll look at other options in the future. So have a great day. My one camera stopped working, so the rest of this is done this way.